this denotes ownership. And when your parents were tricked into filling this out, they allowed your spirit and your soul to be monetized. And futures were sold on you. Spirit and soul. I don't... Now, this is my birth certificate. This is actually a share. See this red number? This A, I'm born in Canada. This is a class A share. Now, this is called a CUSIP number. And all securities require a CUSIP number. And that's what this is. And you are held as collateral to secure the debt, which our government owes to international bankers. So you and me and all these people here are actually collateral. And we don't even own our lives. We are chattel. And we believe we're free. I made an application to the Registrar General and I got my original social insurance application. Now before they sent it to me, they put a little piece of paper over this before they photocopied it. Because my friend has his and they didn't block this out and when you hold it up, you see Bank of Canada. It is said that the best slaves are the ones who don't know that they're enslaved. And we all have invisible chains on us and we don't know it. And so this is additional information that we've uncovered and we're trying to circulate. They couldn't enforce regulatory law over you unless they had jurisdiction over you. And you'll notice that any government identification that you have, your name is spelt in all capital letters. Okay, that denotes a corporate fiction. That's not you, that's a corporate, every single citizen of Canada when you look at Black's Law, it's this big law dictionary that all the lawyers use. And it says in there, person, the definition of person is a fictitious, it's a corporate fiction. Now, when you further read Black's Law, it says the only person known to Canadian law is the corporation. And so when you're walking around with ID, I don't have any government issue ID. I have this. You see your birth certificate, it's all capital letters, all capital letters. I have this, because I've tur I got copies, I got it all notarized, and I turned it in. I said, there's fraud going on here, there's identity theft, and I can no longer participate. And I turned it all so in. you don't have a passport to travel? I don't need one. Why not? This is the foundation document, and all identification is created from this. And so if this is no good, nothing below it is good. I don't require a passport. So this is a passport. passport. So what, the Registrar is General. What would happen? Is I asked question. the Registrar General, this is a passport, isn't it? And she said, yes, it is. But you cannot travel with that. Of course I can. You're, you're going to. Now you're going to go and get on a plane and travel. Just no photo ID, just. I don't require photo ID. This is the foundation document. All ID is created from this. If this is no good, nothing below it is any good. That proves that Canada gave them the document that all ID could be created from. So that's kind of what that is. This allows me to passport. How long did it take you to get that? Go down to 777 Bay Street and make an application and they'll mail it to you within eight weeks. Or you can go in with and, and request emergency service like I did and get it within 48 hours. That, that was just your abstention yeah. of library. Yeah. Well, you can't travel with that. That's my point. You cannot, well, within Canada, sure, you, you can, but you cannot go. Other countries will not accept you. You okay. don't have to be a photo ID. I, you're, you're entitled to believe that. I'm have just you, telling you, you what tried, I've discovered. Have you, have you tried traveling with that and not with the passport? I have not, no, but I have been told by the Registrar General that I don't require a passport if I have this. But every country has their own And I was also advised to phone ahead when I intend to passport, phone ahead and advise them of what I'm doing and it will allow me to pass more freely rather than causing me to be held up because the people there won't understand what I'm doing and as a matter of a policy they'll have to hang on to me until they get a hold of their officials but the and sort well. it all what out. The police told the police are told move with caution if you're not sure proceed and so ca proceed with caution. So when it comes to things this like is, this, this is the only ID I carry. When you're asked to state your name for the record, 
and you state the name that is listed on your identification in all capital letters, you are stepping into the jurisdiction of a fictitious corporate entity. Now, if you go into a court and you are asked to state your name, if you say, I was entrusted with the name, blah, 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 however, I discovered a fraud had been committed and there is identity theft going along and I can no longer participate, then you are there. They can't charge you with failing to appear because you've presented yourself, but you didn't cross the line and you didn't step into their jurisdiction by stating your name. What no one realizes when they get you to state your name, you are identifying yourself as that fictitious corporate entity, which all of your government ID are articles of incorporation for a fictitious corporate entity. You don't have a driver's now, license you, either. Nope. This is my driver's license. And insurance and registration. But you, but you, do you drive? Yes. That? Yes. I drove, here. I drove from yeah. Richmond Hill down here with all this stuff in my car. I drive every day without a seatbelt. What is that? What is it's, that? It's, it's my charter. Good faith notice. So Take a, take a close look at that, see what well, that is. Yeah. The driving license is just you know, confirming that you've passed the driving test. It's not recreating your identity. Yeah, yeah. A driver's license is only required for commerce. A truck driver and a taxi driver who earn their living driving are the only ones who require a driver's license. You don't have to be a certain age to drive. You don't, like, all those rules are, are you saying those are valid? Are you saying those are valid? Those are regulatory laws. Yeah. And again, the only person known to Canadian law is the corporation. Now, when you identify yourself as that name in all capital letters that has been issued to you, you are stepping in, you are acknowledging yourself as a corporate entity. Look at Black's Law and look at the definition of person, and it says a corporation. The definition of a person is a corporation. In the law books.